Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm here today with Seven Gypsies and Canvas Core Brands making some primitive Christmas trees. I've gathered all my supplies. I've got two types of architectures from Seven Gypsies. This tin tile here, which is green, just in time for a Christmas tree, and some of the garden stakes, as well as some shapeabilities dies in graduated Christmas trees. Now, I've never die cut um, the architectures before, but you can see I practiced with a piece of paper. I got seven trees out of the paper, and the tin tile is a little bit smaller than six by six. I think I'm really nervous about die cutting this because for some reason I only ordered one tile. Um, I pulled some sticks from my garden, and that's what I'm going to use for my tree trunks. But I think I have it figured out with how I'm going to um, get it die cut. You can see me messing with it there, trying to get it in the right spot. Um, I kind of only got one shot at this. So I'm working up the courage. Got my cuddle bug, I've made a sandwich, and it's an A, B, and C. And here we go. Did it cut? Did it cut through all of it? Or just, oh look, it cut through the, the tile. You can tell the tile is plastic when you look at the back. And if you look real close, you can see the tree shape on the back of the plastic where it didn't cut all the way through. So I'm super happy at this point. I can't believe um, it actually worked out. Um, I've decided that I don't need the tree trunks from the die cut, so you'll see me kind of cutting them off um, when I'm die cutting and then also randomly when I'm um, assembling it and have cut it together. Okay, I've gone ahead and cut all the tree shapes and now I'm cutting half tree shapes to make a second layer. Um, really, I only had bits and pieces left and I had to piece that last one there that I just cut onto some paper to get enough um, of the green tin tile to make the tree because I'm doing five sections. I've got some little cut log slices there and one is from um, the one the ornament one is from Hobby Lobby uh, the Christmas crafts were 50% off this week so I grabbed them from there and they've got some snowflakes on one side and they're playing on the other You'll see that in a minute. I've got my hot glue gun. It's high heat glue attaching the little half trees that I cut from the pieces. Um, at this point, I'm just attaching it and it's going to be a five point or five section tree. I forgot that I should crease them all in the middle. So you'll see me in a little bit start creasing when I get to the trees. It just makes them easier to match up when there's a, a fold in the middle. Just take your time, add the glue, get them to match up. They are adhesive, but I like the permanence of a little bit of hot glue. I think if I had remembered to fold them down the middle, there would be a little bit of an easier time um, keeping them apart, but really um, it wasn't very hard at all. And there's my aha moment where I remembered I'm supposed to crease them, so you saw me do it there. And there's the bottom layer or the under layer of the tree that I have completed. I'm just snipping off some pieces that maybe don't look right or too little too long or don't fit and um, I'm going to start getting the main tree assembled here. There I just cut off the trunk you could see. And I'm going to add the hot glue and start attaching the whole piece on top of each half piece. So it's five trees and five half trees. And I did use up pretty much the whole tin tile. You can see just the scraps that I have left over there. Just take your time and match up the, the edges as best you can. A really good thing about this, this color of tile is... Um, 
it is not white on the back or black it's very similar color to the front so the edges are not really obvious if you don't happen to match it up exactly so that was a real big plus I thought Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get these last two trees attached and do some final trimmings. We're almost done. And there it is, a little primitive Christmas tree cut out of the tin tile. You can see just the scraps that are left. There really wasn't much left at all. But I do have the beautiful packaging um, left to play with, so I'm really excited. I wish I had ordered all of the tiles and been able to make, you know, there, I think there's three tiles and make a, one of each kind of tree. Uh, next time I'll get that right. Here I'm taking the garden stakes and I've decided to use this as my tree topper. This is the Fleur de Lis one I've grabbed here. It's too long, it won't slide down. There's too much glue down in the middle. Um, so I'm just, I've cut it off. And I'm just gonna slide it right inside. Okay, this ornament, I'm just gonna take the twine off it and uh, stack them up. Stack up the wood pieces and glue the tree to it but then oh I've decided the tree is too tall so we're going to trim the trunk glue it again hold it until it's gonna stay really only takes a minute for it to be secure the the tin tile tree is not heavy at all so just a, a minute with glue and it's it's set Then I've taken the twine that I took off the ornament and tying it into a bow, snipping off the curled ends, and I'm gonna glue it to the top of the tree. There she is. Thanks for watching.